Let's come in a comfortable seat. Cross legged or kneeling. And commit to sitting still. So let your hand rest, hands rest somewhere on your thighs. And immediately bring your mind's eye to your heart space. Today, this week, we're looking into the heart chakra. One of my favorite chakras, I think, because in what I do in my work, I try to really speak about connection. The word connection is really important to me and to my life and to my work. Staying connected to yourself, to your true self. And also, therefore, you can connect better with other people around you. And today, I'd like to, in the theme of the heart chakra, which has the color green, offer up a meditation of loved ones. So I think you can take one activity or a person or an animal you really love, that your heart is full of, and kind of stay with that one specific loved one, or maybe you enjoy making a list. I sometimes make a list and I just go, oh yeah, that person and that person and that person and that person. Both are fine. Stay with the breath for a couple of minutes. Fill up your heart. Literally fill up your heart with love and all the people, activities, animals, mother nature that bring love to your life. With whom you can exchange a sense of connection, relationship and love. Let's sit still for a couple more rounds of breath. In this morning's meditation, a kind of a mantra came up in my mind, which is lovely to repeat to yourself in your head or even out loud if you also resonate with the mantra. It just really made me feel full, full of love, which was the mantra, I love so many people and animals and mother nature, I love so many things. And in return, I am loved by so many people. So just saying that out loud or in your mind, you know, that exchange of love that exists in your life. I love so many people. And in return, I am loved by so many people. It's a beautiful thing to repeat and to remind yourself of. to love and to be loved. Let's place our hands in front of the heart. Set an intention linked to your beautiful heart space, your heart chakra, or maybe dedicate your class to someone you really love. Bow your head towards your fingertips to seal that in. And then you can come into a child's pose. With your big toes to touch, move to the back of your mat, knees come nice and wide. And just let your hips melt towards your heels, stretch your fingers in front of you. Start to cultivate Ujjayi breath. Slow, deep breath, eating, breathing in and out of the nose. With a slight restriction in the back of the throat. Allow yourself to rest in child's pose whenever you feel that serves you. 
Two more rounds of breath here. Inhale, tabletop, bring your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Right arm comes up towards the sky. You can create a couple of circles, just loosen up into the wrists. Take another deep breath in, reach up, look up, reach the arm next to your ear, exhale. Left leg reaches behind you, breathe in. Knee, nose, elbow together, round the spine. Inhale, leg lift forward and back. Exhale, make yourself nice and small. Two more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, round. Love pointer. Breathe in, hold. Now bend your knee and reach your right hand towards your left foot. Reaching is fine. Maybe the hand can find the foot. Take three rounds of breath here. Stay with the breath, a smile on your face, an open heart, and notice the sensations in the body. Inhale, release the foot, reach the arm forward and the leg back. Anatasana, knees down to the floor, hands to the top of the mat. We'll do Anatasana a lot. Anahata is actually the Sanskrit word for the heart chakra. It's a lovely surrendering kind of feeling. Take two more rounds of breath here. Shift towards an elbow plank. You can be on the knees or you can tuck your toes and lift your knees. Hold here for three. Two. Swings pose, hips down to the floor, point your toes. Roll in the chest, resist the floor a little with your elbows. Take three more rounds of breath here. Notice the breath, move through the nostrils of the nose, the throat, and then filling up the lungs. Inhale, together fill up. Exhale, soften your nose down towards the floor. Hands next to your ribcage. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, all the way back to child's pose. Lengthen the lower back. Exhale, melt and surrender. Inhale, tabletop. Hands back under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Left arm up to the sky. Take a couple of circles there. Lovely reach, inhale, exhale, reach the left arm towards the top of the mat. Inhale, reach the right leg behind you. Make yourself nice and small, exhale. With the breath, move, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, nice and small. Two more times, breathe in. Empty the lungs, round the spine, breathe out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, run. Inhale, lengthen, hold, bend the right knee, reach or find the foot with your hand. A soft kick with the foot in the hand. Stay with your breath, find a drishti for your eyes, maybe look at the horizon if you can. One more deep breath in here. Release, exhale. Anatasana, breathe, in hands to the top of the mat. Exhale, melt your heart down towards the floor. Your third eye is placed between your eyebrows and the other floor, or if your neck allows for it, you can bring your chin to the floor and look to the top of your mat. Inhale, elbow plank, move back forward, knees or toes. Exhale, hold. Take a deep breath in together, all the way down to the belly, swing pose. Take a breath in, lift the heart. Exhale, melt the nose down towards the floor, hands next to your mat onto fingertips. Cobra variation, breathe in, 
lift your heart. Look over your right shoulder. Maybe you can see your heels. Are they pointing straight up? Good. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the left side. One more time, each side. Breathe in center. Breathe out, look over to the right shoulder. Breathe in, lift the heart, find that space in the spine. Exhale to the left. Back to center, breathe in. So soften, exhale down to the floor. Hands next to your ribcage. Inhale, tabletop or plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Our first down dog of our practice. Feel into your body. Movement or stillness. You can have your eyes closed. And again, connect to the heart. Breathe into the heart. Let your ribcage expand to the front, the side, and the back. Inhale, take it. Look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Interlace your hands behind you. Let your head hang heavy forward. If it's tricky to find your balance, to keep your balance, just bring your feet hip with a pot. Then it's a little bit easier to maintain the balance. Soften your neck and shoulders. Hollow your belly. So suck your belly button a little in and up. Two more rounds of breath, soften neck and shoulders. Inhale, Utkatasana. Come sit down into your little chair. And then wing your arms behind your flying chair. Hold and breathe. A little bit of an up dog feel in your chest. Waist is nice and strong. Go focus your eyes for three. Active fingers for two. Inhale, high mountain, heels down, arms up to the sky, back bend, cactus the arms and look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, straight spine, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Anjanayasana, arms up to the sky, breathe in. Cup your head with your hands. Lift your gaze, reach your elbows away from each other. Three rounds of rest here. Feel free to close your eyes. Notice the sensations in the body. Notice your breath. Together we breathe in, fill up the lungs. Half split, exhale, hands can come to heart center. If it's tricky to keep the balance, just bring the fingertips down. Lengthen the spine, active right toes. Notice the space in the back of your right leg. Inhale, low lunge. Lift your left knee, bend the right knee. Exhale, plank pose. Just feel into your plank pose. Take a breath in. You can stay in plank pose, or if it feels all right, just check it with the lower back. It's a hanging cobra. A hanging cobra is an up dog with your toes tucked. Your legs are really strong. Your heels are pressing back. You lift your hamstrings up. Your quadriceps are active. Take a deep breath in. Knees down, Anandasana. Slide your hands forward and really melt your chest back down towards the floor. Inhale, elbow plane, come forward. You can lift your knees. Exhale, walk your hands all the way to your feet, to the back of your mat. That's it. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, Utkatasana. Sit down into your little chair, hold and breathe. Notice your gaze, notice your breath. Take one more deep breath in. Fold forward, dive forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, activate, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, back to plank pose. Walk your hands to the top of the mat. Feet can be hip width apart. Take another deep breath in here. Downward facing dog, full stretch. Take a breath into the nose. Maybe a sigh out of the mouth.
Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Right foot steps to the back of your mat, low lunge. Inhale, Anjanayasana, interlace your hands, cup your head. With your hands, close your eyes, three rounds of breath. Open the heart, open the chest, fill it up with prana, with air. Take a breath in together. Half splits, hands to heart, extend your left leg, hold and breathe. Activate your toes. Stay with your breath. Inhale, low lunge, lift your right knee. Exhale, plank or hanging cobra. This is up to you. Take another deep breath in here. Anatasana, hips up, hands to the top of the mat. Melt your chest down. Inhale, come forward into elbow plank. Lift your knees if you want to. Exhale, walk your hands back to your feet to the back of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, toes together, fold forward. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, flying chair, lift your heels, weights reach behind you. Stay here or interlace your hands and start to come into a diverse pose. The nose dives down towards the floor, the heels lift, the legs try to be straight. Hold and breathe for three. Two, wobbly, wobbly. Inhale, high mountain, heels down. Arms up, look up, back bend. Exhale, cactus the arms. Straighten spine, high mountain, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward, dive forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Back to downward facing dog. You can measure through a plank pose, then lift your tailbone up. Well done. Take a breath into the nose, a sigh out of the mouth. Right leg lifts up towards the sky. Inhale, three legged dog. Open the hip to the side. Move the belly so the belly is turning towards the right side of your mat. If you want something funky, you can try to bring your elbow down towards the floor. That would be your left elbow. And from there, you can maybe bring your right hand to fingertips. Woo! Nice. Three more rounds of breath here. These are all options. You do what feels good to you. Inhale, three-legged dog. Hands flat, lift your elbow. Reach to the toe. Knee to your nose. Exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog lengthen. Step the foot in between your hands or help the foot in between your hands. Look forward, breathe in. Pyramid pose with airplane wings. So you have, you try to extend both legs, ground to the feet, and then can you swing your arms behind you? From there, you can try to bring your nose closer to the floor. Woo, nice. For three, a little bit of walking, that is fine. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Inhale, crescent lunge. Bend your right knee, bring your arms up. Cup your head with your hands, reach the elbows away from each other. Again, we breathe in, fill up the lungs. Warrior two, slice it open. Right toes point forward, left toes slightly in. Take another deep breath in, looking good. Sink a little deeper into that right knee. Interlace your hands behind you. Open the collarbones, breathe in. Ostrich pose. Now try to bow straight forward rather than towards your right knee. So you, you pretend you're like in a in a question of an asana or something, like a wide leg, but your legs are still in warrior two. Your chest can come halfway or all the way. Take three more rounds of breath here.
Take a breath in, you can lift your chest a little. Warrior two, exhale, reach the arms forward and back, release. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, extended side angle, right arm to the inside of the knee, left arm up. Inhale, stop pose, turn your toes out, reach your arms up. Exhale, pause, sit nice and low, you can bring your hands to heart center. And if you want, you can lift your heels off the floor for a little extra balance challenge. Maybe you close your eyes, feel the wobbling, stay with the breath. Inhale, star pose, grow tall. Back to the top of the mat, warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm up. Back to low lunge, exhale, wiggle your hands down, lift your left heel. Step back, plank pose or hanging cobra, breathe in. Anandasana, there we go, hips above your knees, slide your hands to the top of the mat. Inhale, elbow plank, tuck your toes this time, exhale, dolphin pose. Walk your feet closer to your elbows, hold your dolphin pose. Soften the neck and shoulders, maybe after a couple of rounds of rest, you can walk your feet even closer, lift your tailbone up to the sky, press into the lower part of your arms, so you're pressing your chest back towards your legs. Take another deep breath in here. Walk back to elbow plank, exhale. Deep breath in here. Hands walk to your feet, back of your mat. Yes, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, soften. Inhale, Utkatasana, sit back down into your little chair. Wind removal pose, right knee in towards your chest. Create a couple of circles with the right foot. Dance is pose, so you're holding on. It's important that that armpit stays open. So what often happens is people either have the, the thumb down, so the thumb is up, or they do all, all the way. So if you feel that your shoulder is forward, try to keep it open all the time. Hold on to the inside of the foot. Hips are level, reach to the left hand. Take a deep breath in, 30 seconds here. Yeah, let me time that for us. There we go. Hold and breathe and focus. Kick that foot gently, actively into the hand. Let it open the heart so you're blossoming and blossoming and blossoming. If you want to hold on to your ankle, that is obviously a little bit more intense. Really reach through the toes, last five. Four, three, go to your edge. That's it, Marley. Awesome, Emma. That's it, Karina. And change sides. Woo, nice work. <laughs> Set yourself up. Ground through your right foot. Find your shape. Take your time. Take your time. Take a breath in and our 30 seconds start now. Stay with the breath. Last eight seconds. Go to the edge. You might fall. That's okay. For three, two, slowly, samastitihi, at the back of your mat. Close your eyes and just feel. Inhale, high mountain, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, back bend, practice the arms. Inhale, high mountain, straighten the spine, look to the horizon. Exhale, fold forward, dive forward, soften your neck. Notice the lower back stretch. Inhale, halfway lift, downward facing dog, back to the top of your mat. Take three rounds of breath here in downward facing dog. 
please load a child's pose is available to you as well. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Open the belly towards the left side. You can bend your left knee. And then you can take the option to bring the right elbow down. And maybe even lift your palm of the left hand and come into your fingertips. Take three more rounds of breath here. Inhale, three-legged dog, plant your palms, lift elbow, extend your leg, knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog, lengthen, step your foot in between your hands or help it in between your hands. Fingertips, breathe in. Pyramid pose, maybe, with flying arms behind you. And from there, you might be able to bring your nose close to your shins. Little, little, little steps. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly for three, two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach the arms up, interlace the hands. Cup your head, reach the elbows away from each other. Two more rounds of breath here. Lift your heart, open everything. Breathe in, warrior two. Breathe out, slice it open. Interlace your hands behind you, broaden the chest, open the collarbones. This is called ostrich pose. Very South African. <laughs> Let your head hang heavy. Yeah, quite tricky on that left knee. That left knee wants to do weird things. So if you're not sure, just stay halfway. Otherwise, you can come all the way. Ground to the feet, that left knee point in direction of the toes. Inhale, lift your chest a little. Exhale, warrior two. Bend your left knee a little bit more. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left arm up and over. Exhale, extend the side angle. Left arm to the inside. Right arm over. Maybe look under the armpit towards the ceiling. Inhale, star pose. Turn your toes out. Wonderful flow. Exhale, hold and breathe. Take a moment here. Pause. Find some stillness, some focus of the eyes. Feel free to lift the heels. Inhale, star pose, come all the way back up. Heels down to the floor. Exhale, warrior two, to the top of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm reaches up and over. Exhale, low lunge, wimble your hands. Lift your back heel. Inhale, plank or hanging cobra. Exhale, anatasana, hips high, hands slide to the top. I like to have my hands and my lower arms onto the floor for the next bit. So come forward, inhale, elbow plank. Exhale, dolphin pose. Walk your feet closer to your elbows. Right leg lifts, so it's a three-legged dolphin pose. Hold and breathe. Reach to the right toes for three, two, change sides, right foot down, inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Active left toes, reach them up and behind you. One more deep breath in. Walk your feet to the back of the mat, elbow plank. Deep breath in here. Hands walk towards your feet to the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, Utkatasana, sit back down. Ego, right leg over, right arm under. 30 seconds again, off we go. Find your dristi, soften the skin on your face. Let the breath support your shape. Last three. Two, Utkatasana, 
inhale, other side, left arm under, left leg over, bring your knees a little bit over to the left, so they're in your center line. Stay with the breath. Keep your eyes focused. Soften your shoulders. For three, two, inhale, high mountain, reach the arms up, exhale, back bend, look up, open the heart. Inhale, high mountain, straighten the body. Exhale, fold forward, back forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Straight to downward facing dog, walk your hands back to the top of your mats. Three rounds of breath in stillness here. Maybe child's pose. Right leg lifts, three leg dog, bend the knee, open the hip to the side, and open the belly to the right side. Now flip your dog, look under your left armpit, see if you can find the foot with your eyes, and then either it's a wild thing, in wild thing, your left leg is straight, your right knee is bent, it feels a bit like a side plank, or you can bring your feet parallel, and then come into a bridge, or kind of, it's actually more of a wheel variation. Yeah, press into both feet. One day you might be able to come into full wheel here. Take one more deep breath in. Right knee to your nose, all the way back. Inhale, three leg down, lengthen. Step the foot in between your hands, nice and controlled. Inhale, look forward. Prasarita with wings, flying prasarita. Yes, hold, ground to the feet, maybe humbly bow your head down towards your shin. Inhale, crescent lunge, interlace your hands. Exhale, one big back bend, cover your left knee. Take a breath in, warrior two, slice it open, lovely. Interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, humbly bow forward. Inhale, half lift with your chest. Exhale, warrior two, slice it open, bend the knee. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm reaches up and over. Exhale, extended side arm, angle, arm down, left arm up to the sky. Inhale, stop pose, turn your toes out. Exhale, hold, sit back down, hands to heart center. Take a moment here to just be still within our flow, to notice your breath, your heart rate, your thoughts, and your feelings. Inhale, stop, hold, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, worry you two to the top of your mat. Inhale, reverse, worry you reach the right arm up. Exhale, wiggle your hands down to the floor, low lunge. Inhale, plank or hanging cobra, there we go. Exhale, anapasana, hips up, hands right to the top. Inhale, elbow plank, you can tuck the toes. Exhale, walk your feet forward, dolphin pose. From here, you can stay or lift the right leg. Let's all lift the right leg. Yeah, let's do a little bit of effort this morning. If you want more, you can do little hops here on the spot. Hops on the spot, maybe high fiving the feet. Maybe the feet stay above your head. And then your infant sheep, Mayurasana. Forearm plan, forearm stance. For another three, two, Nice, bring your feet down. Let's try on the other side. Left leg up to the sky. Little hops. Little hops just above the floor. Maybe your right foot starts to meet your left foot. Notice how quickly that left foot needs to reach up. Maybe you find balance for three, two, 
two, embryo pose, child's pose, we do knees together, hands next to your feet, just take a moment here. Woo, well done. Not easy to go upside down with a full bladder. Bladder, I should have, I would drink so much tea in the morning. Well then to invert is tricky. Good for your digestive system. Get that heart rate up a little. Inhale, hands top of the mat, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, high mountain, rise, come up to a standing position. Samastiti, he, exhale, just a pause. Let's flow with the breath, inhale, high mountain. Cactus the arms, exhale, back bend, look up, open up. Yes, inhale, high mountain, straighten out. Exhale, fold forward, dive forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Walk to downward facing dog, feet to the back of the mat, lift your tailbone. Lovely to know that your heart, just because you're doing all these movements, it has, a, it has an effect on the energy and the vibrations of your heart, opening it up, being courageous. To keep that heart open. Left leg up to the sky, three legged dog. There we go. Open the hip, flip the dog into wild thing with the right leg stays straight. Or you first bring your feet parallel, cover the hips a little, and then it's a real variation. They're both fine. Just make a decision that works for you. Up and reach and breathe and smile for three, two. Take a breath and look down, left knee to your nose, all the way back. Inhale, three-legged dog lengthen. Gracefully step the foot to the top of your mat. Pyramid pose with flying arms. Extend both legs, reach the arms behind you, flying. Behind you, now dive your nose down towards the floor. Flying pyramid. Inhale, crescent lunge. Interlace your hands. Back bend, open the heart, reach the elbows away from each other. Breathe in to stay. Exhale, warrior two. Slice it open, bend your left knee, reach your fingers. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left arm up, so nice. Exhale, extend the side angle, reach forward, down, and then the right arm comes up. Inhale, star pose, so good. Exhale, pause to sit down, palms to heart center. Inhale, star pose, reach everything up. Extend the legs to the top of your mat, warrior two. How oh, we forgot the ostrich, we can still do that here. Open and chest, inhale. Just in time, relax your head down towards the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, low lunge, wiggle your hands down, lift your right heel. Inhale, plank pose or hanging cobra. Exhale, anatasana, last time. Into your anatasana. Inhale, elbow plank. Exhale, dolphin pose. Stay in dolphin pose if you want to give your little hops another try. A nice other option is to switch here. So you bring one leg up and you switch. One leg up and you switch. And you switch and you switch and you switch and you switch. And you switch and, you switch and then maybe at a certain moment, the legs stay up. Yeah, nice, nice try, good. For five, four, three, two, one, hands down to the floor, 
Walk them all the way to the back of the mat towards your feet. Inhale, halfway hip, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, high mountain, all the way up, stand up. Exhale, back bend, cactus the arms. Inhale, high mountain, grow tall. Exhale, lovely ladies, all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Hands to the top of the mat, downward facing dog. Last bit of standing, right leg lifts, three leg dog. Low lunge, step the foot in between your hands. Inhale, set yourself up for warrior one legs. Pause on the exhale. Feel the foundation, root to rise. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. Pop open the heart, pop open the chest, breathe in. Humble warrior, right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Let your head be heavy. Inhale, warrior one, arms up to the sky. Exhale, airplane. Bring the weight into the right leg. Square your hips. Now you have an option to stay or to bend your left knee. Reach with the hands towards your foot. My right hand is holding on to the big toe. My left hand is holding on to the pinky toe. And then it's a, a kick with the legs. It's very different from dancer's pose. Well, it's actually similar, but you're holding on to the foot with both hands. Otherwise, stay into airplane pose. Take another deep breath in. Kick the foot into your hands. Fold forward, feet together. Exhale, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step to the back of your mat. A full breath into the nose. Sigh it out. Exhale. Inhale, left leg, three leg dog. Step the foot in between your hands. Exhale. Inhale, warrior one. Flip it down. Then come all the way up to a standing. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. Lift your chest, breathe in. And humbly, warrior one. All the way down, let your head be heavy. Breathe. Inhale, warrior one. Release the hands, arms up above your head. Exhale, airplane pose. Hold, find your balance, reach the right toes, reach the hands, or you can start to bend the knee, and then see if your hands can find the foot. You can also bring your fingers to the front of the foot and start to kick forward. I like to just put my fingers around my toes a little. And open the collarbones for three, two, yeah, feet together, fold forward, nice. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Downward facing dog, the second last one of our practice. Right leg lifts, three leg dog. Half pigeon, right knee to the outside of the right hand. Walk your left knee a little bit backwards. Stay here, breathe in. And then bring your right hand to the center of the mat, breathe out. Lift your left knee, left hand finds the foot, or maybe draws that heel a little closer to your left tip bone. Actually, more towards the outside of your left bottom. So my left heel is to the outside of the left bottom. Take three more rounds of breath here. Release the foot, stay on hands, or come all the way down for a full minute. Ah. 
Half vision, open the hip, stay with your breath. Slowly bring your hands under your shoulders. Tuck your back toes. First lift your right heel to your groin. Let the core do the work. Lift up and then gracefully step back to downward facing dog. Left leg up to the sky, breathe in. Half pigeon on the left side. Stay upright with your upper body for now. Take a breath in here. Feel how you can soften the hips. Left hand to the center. Bend your right knee, find the foot, or draw that heel closer to your bum. Notice the sensations in the front of the right thigh. Notice your breath. Slow it down. Even though this is quite intense for most of us, I assume. One more deep breath. Slowly release the foot. Find some depth in your hips. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out one full minute. Half pigeon. Slowly bring your hands back under your shoulders. Roll onto your left thumb. Slide your right leg to the top. Leave my top with the cold. If you're getting cold, this would be a great time to put some extra clothing on. Paschimottanasana, both legs to the top of the mat. Reach the arms up to find length in your spine. And then come forward rather than down. From your length in the spine. On the inhale, to a softening on the exhale while maintaining that length. Breathe in, roll all the way up. Breathe up, roll all the way, nice and slow. All the way down. Happy baby pose. <clears throat> Knees come close to the armpits, to the outside of your upper body. You can hold on to the knees, the ankles, or the feet. You flatten the pelvis. So can you bring your mind's eye to the back of your bum, the sacrum, and lengthen the spine by trying to glue the back of your pelvis into the floor? In my head, it's almost like I'm creating, trying to create a hollow back. So really trying to flatten and straighten the lower back. Three more rounds of rest here.
Hug both knees in towards your chest. Wiggle a little from right to left. Then bring the knees over to the left side. You can bring your arms nice and wide. Couple of belly breaths, really softly let the belly rise and fall. Inhale, bring the knees back to center. Exhale, bring the knees over to the right side. Let your toes soften. Let your ankles be soft, your knees melt the muscles. Let them melt away from the bones. Let your body become heavy and soft. Inhale, knees back to center. Exhale, bow, dead box pose. So let your arms and your head reach up to the sky without the need to active. So there's a softness to it. If you want and you feel like a plow or a shoulder stance, we've got a couple of moments of breath. Keep your neck nice and safe by keeping your head still. Feet can be over your head, or you can bring your hands to the lower back, walk your elbows in a little, and then lift your feet up and away from the floor. Shoulder stands, now, or dead bugs pose. Five more rounds of breath. Wherever you are, slowly lower all the spine. We've got time done. And then move to your shape of Shavasana. So as I said before, I'm going to leave you in Shavasana today. So if you feel like putting a timer on your watch or on your phone, maybe give yourself five minutes to just be, to just relax, heart opening, has a massive effect on your emotional world. So let it all settle in. So it becomes easy rather than overwhelming. Enjoy your Shavasana. Enjoy this beautiful day. Keep your heart open, keep smiling. I'll see you on Thursday. Namaste, ladies. <laughs>